Hello, welcome to the tutorials video of this Schedule 3 automation tool. In this video, we will see the basics of the master sheet. So here we have given all the options. We need, here we need to fill the basic detail of auditor. What all are the details over here? The partner who is going to sign the financial that we need to mention it over here. The place of the signature, date of the signature, that all you can put it up over here. Udin information also, we need to put it up over here. Then the detail of the company, name of the company, SIN number, address, these things are optional, but in, in case you want to show as a part of the financial, you can just mention those things over here. The financial who is going to sign the, uh, from the company side, like director, CFO, uh, MD, managing director, that information we need to fill it up over here. In case they are at the different place, so for that also we have given the different place of signature and different date of signature option also here. So that thing we need to fill it up over here. Then all the options we have divided into three category. One is the financial preparation options. Then there is this presentation option and third one is the print option. This all option you can utilize in the from the master sheet itself. So let us understand one by one what all are the implication of that and how you can utilize that. Let us start with the financial preparation options. So in the financial preparation options you have been given the five options. First one is the depreciation calculation. So what is the thing over here in this schedule 3 automation tool we have given you fixed asset register which is calculating depreciation as per the uh, companies act. So if you want to calculate depreciation within this tool itself you can select this option FAR item wise depreciation. When you select that option this FAR sheet will be activated. Now when company is using their own fixed asset register and you just want to put this basic summary as a part of the financial then in that case you need to select the option FAR summary manual. So when you select this option instead of FAR one sheet will be activated that is the FAR manual. So you need to fill those detail over here. Now let us come to the master file. We were on this uh, uh, the first option I have explained you. Second option is the type of financial. So what happens in the type of financial we have given you three options. One is the standalone for standalone entity when you want to prepare the financial that you can select from here. Then there is the branch consolidation option. So in case of the uh, companies having different branches, they have a different tally data or different uh, uh, accounting software they are using. So that branch consolidation you can utilize in that case. In case companies having subsidiaries company for that you can utilize this third option branch consolidation. The third option is that cash flow. In case of small companies cash flow will not be applicable. So to deselect that thing you, you need to select over here yes or no from the drop down list so that you can select from here so cash flow you can select yes no from here then there is the annexure uh, report which you can generate in this automation tool in case you do not want to generate annexure in certain small companies it is upon you so you can select uh, that annexure is actually entirely an optional thing that is a working group uh, grouping list sub schedule we can say that so that you can select from here further Further, we have this ITR preparation, ITR financial part, ITR 6 balance sheet, PNL, trading manufacturing account will be generated in this. So that also you can select from here whether you want to generate that thing within this tool or you want to skip that part. Now let us come to the second presentation options. So in the presentation options, we have given you this total five options. First one is the rounding off in case you want to convert financial into the round off. So there are different options that we have given from the drop down list you can select. Like you want in thousand lakhs in hundreds in crore in millions you can select from the drop down list over here. Then second option is that uh, the color themes actually there are eight color themes that we have given in this automation tool. So those you can select from here one by one you can select and if you want black and white financial only you don't want to give any color thing. So you can choose this first option no theme as well. Then third option is bordering layout. So what happens uh, many different firms use their own uh, different bordering formats. So those also we have uh, collated and we have given four different options. So here you can select different bordering format though total four options are. Then there is this note starting number. So what happens generally some of the uh, forms follows that they want to first give first number will be the company information and second will be the significant accounting policy. So share capital note numbering of the financial start from the note numbering three. So which you want to give you want to start with the number one, two, three that you can select from here. So that option we have given over to you. 
then there is the font style if you want to change the font style you just need to write the correct spelling of that like if i want to have a arial i can write it down over here and the effect of that will be automatically away let us come to the third third category of the uh, options there is the print options so in the print option header alignment now if we come to the balance sheet as of now you can see the header is aligned in the left so if you want to change it to the center just come to the master file and just select over here that we want it in the center if you want in left if you want in right if you want in center that you can select from here second option is print you want to print address in because address and sin is the optional that we have given but if you want to uh, print both if you want to print none that you can select from here so all these things all those options we have given over here to, uh, to you in the print settings then uh, face print shading uh, face printing so what is this actually so if you just come to the balance sheet as of now so in this balance sheet standard format of the schedule 3 says that under the non current liability there are actually four categories one is the long term borrowing then there is a, a deferred tax then there is a other uh, long term provision and then there is a other other long term liability so if you want to show all those four, four category even if there is a no balance in both the year so that you can select from here so just come over here and just select yes even if there is a zero balance but we want to show on the face of the balance sheet so that you can select from here and if you want to show only those balances which is having either in one of the year balance or it is in the both the years so that you can select from here then further fourth option is that accounting policy so if you want to give it accounting policy from this tool itself you can uh, select yes as a print option ratio sheet which is compulsory from the financial year 21 22 but then that if you want to skip for a time being so you can select no and if you want to give it to print as a part of the financial you can select yes for that let us see what all are the other options so if we come uh, in the bottom in the left so there is a user defined grouping option given so if you see in the schedule 3 there is a format of the face as of balance sheet and pnl that is very much predetermined but schedule 3 allows you that if there is any material transaction which you want to show as a part of the face of the balance sheet and pnl you can show so face grouping we we know that in the trial balance face grouping is having the drop down list so in the drop down list we cannot change but if you want to add the face grouping you can use this user defined grouping there are total eight user defined grouping option we have given over to you under the different categories over here if you see i have created one of the user defined grouping under the current asset that is unbilled revenue unbilled revenue in the standard format it is not there but in the it company it is very relevant so they want to show on the face of the balance sheet so that you can similar to this you can add this so under the different category that option is available now we'll just come to the uh, consolidation part in case of consolidation where you can do up to 25 branches or subsidiary companies consolidation you will have to define the names so you need to select over here how many number of branches that you have let us say that i have 10 branches so when you select 10 Ten branches rows will be visible to you, and you need to enter over here the name of branches. So this is over place where you need to define the name of branches. And over here there are certain sheets like analyticals, guidance sheet one two three five. This is the optional sheet that we have given you for your working. If you don't want to see those sheet and you want to hide it, that you can just make it like we want to hide this and just click on apply. So those sheet will be hidden. now let us see this is basically overall we have covered entire thing what is available in this automation tool if we come in the right over here on top what is given over here to you the first one is the financial preparation status so financial preparation status is basically in this automation tool all things are divided into different part so whatever task of uh, your part is being completed on that you will get to know that this part is complete and if any part is missing if any part is not yet complete you will be notified over here in the red so you get to know what is the status of the financial in the right there is further one index has been given so on the whichever sheet you want to go you can simply click on that and you you will be redirected to that sheet if you want to come to the master file directly there is a shortcut control m that also you can utilize so control m you can use it like a, it is a home home screen of your financial so you can just come to the control m just come to the sheet and wherever you want to go again let us say i want to go again on the itr6 balance sheet i can click on that it will direct me to this sheet again so i'll just come to over here 
Now print. So print option we have given to you. Total there are four different print option available. Print financial will give you entire set of financial print. If you if the cash flow is not applicable, then you can print without cash flow. In case uh, you want to generate the annexure print also, so that also you can do it from here. And then in case of branch consolidation, uh, uh, branches financial can also be generated over here. There is one button given validate financial. The role of this validated financial is only that whatever number of checks which are there in the check sheet, it will just highlight to you that it is not doing anything else. Just when you click on that, if there is any check pending, it will just highlight to you that there are certain checks which are not yet resolved and it will just highlight to you for that. Pause good. There is one more button given validate financial. So validate financial is basically for what? Like when you uh, when you are just at the finalization and you want to print. So if you just just click on this button and it will just highlight to you whatever numbers of checks which are there pending. It is not doing any validation in the financial. It is just to highlight to you that there are certain checks which are pending. Now let us see how we can generate the PDF of this financial. To generate the PDF. Just come to any output sheet uh, like balance sheet, PNL, anything, and just press Control P. So when you press a Control P, you will get this option, and in that we need to select the Microsoft Print to PDF or any PDF generation option. And now just escape that, and just come to the master file, and now just come uh, click on this button, prepare financial. So when you click on this button, prepare financial. It is going to generate the PDF as default printer is selected Microsoft Print to PDF. So you can see the preview that first gives you the preview, and then we can go ahead with the printing. So this was the basic about the master sheet, and uh, you can uh, even there are certain user defined option also given on the right of this each of the table when you click on this button I. So that is the user uh, user defined option which have been given over, to, over here. That also explain you what all how you can utilize this all options. Okay, thank you.